shot. Shot. No, both shots. I purchased my stencil off of CuttingEdgeStencils.com. The name of this particular stencil is Anastasia. It is on the little more difficult side. The base color for my walls is Sherwin-Williams Purple Peacock. Make sure to apply two coats. Supplies for my project are Sherwin-Williams Twirly Girl Paint in Tear Satin, Painter's Tape, I really fall in love with the pre-taped plastic, scissors, a stir stick, a paint can opener, a roller, and I am putting these glitter crystals into my paint. Um, I have a rolling pan, um, a couple of grocery bags to line the rolling pan, and cardboard. And of course, your stencil. It's very important to have a wall leveler. You just tape it onto the stencil. As I'm editing this, I asked myself, why did I start in the middle? It was because of my light switches. Don't start in the middle, start on the bottom and go up. You want the roller to be very dry. Too much paint will seep through the stencil. It happens to the best of us, so don't worry if it does on a few. Your eye will not see it. place where they told you what to chase told you how to run the race every move was on the page but i didn't like their way had to fight and misbehave had to find a way to change had to leave to find my way caught up in a daydream i beat my mind up there almost daily it's how i pass time no opinions safely it's how i understand what i want in this place see because everybody want to tell you bad things what could go wrong what fame brings but success is a finicky thing and if you ain't sure no it'll never be I don't want to let myself down, myself down I don't want to let myself down, myself down So when I got done with this wall, I just kept looking at it going, why does it look so bad? I just, I was like, I did everything the same. I don't know why. I just felt like it just looked bad. And I kept looking over at this wall going, why? I just don't get it at all. Well, the stencil had built up paint. So I am going to be taking all of the paint off of the stencil and redoing that wall. You can really tell the difference when you put the stencil back up. I wonder why it looks so weird. I wanted to show you the difference when you redo the stencil. Look how much better that is. That's funny.
this is the front door and I just feel like it kind of looks messy. So I'm debating whether or not just to paint this wall the same color as I've done the fireplace wall. What do you think, Stanley? Well, I decided to stencil it. It's not perfect by any means, but it's far enough away that you can't see it. To fill in this area, I'm kind of looking at this guy. See how far that away <coughs> is from the dog. <coughs> to look to, to cut. So you can kind of see this guy right here, this guy right here. So I'm gonna go with the top right here, and make a line and cut the stencil. So it'll be easy for me to get that top and the bottom. I have put another poster board that I've been using for my floor guard behind the stencil so I can mark the stencil without marking the wall. It's just easier to do on the wall. The stencil company does recommend buying two stencils. That way you can cut one and have one whole. Or you can wait to cut it at the end like I did. So I only did this on weekends and not every weekend because I had five walls to do. It took me over a month to finish this. One wall will take you all day, plus one day for the top and the bottom pieces. I haven't done the trim or the doors because I'm not sure what purple to use. Leave a comment below, the stencil color or the base color. Seen a lot of change, been through a lot of pain. Some things are not the same as they were a year ago. But all will be okay. I move on each and every day. The past is where it stays, way back a year ago. I've changed for the better this time. I thought I would never be fine I strive just to say I'm alright And for the first time in a long time I'm alright They just got caught chewing that cardboard <laughs> <laughs>